Two. Right, what I usually do is after I've uh, got the papaya over here, I've prepared it, I've cut it, I've actually cut it into slices and I've actually removed the outer skin so actually what you have is you've got a nice clean papaya. Remove the seeds inside, give it a bit of a wash, make sure it's nice and clean and just take a couple of stands of those. What we have is a basic grinder. Make sure everything is pretty clean. So we'll give it a bit of a rinse. Once you've rinsed it a bit, take maybe about maybe about two or three pieces. And uh, once you've added the papaya in, that tree. If uh, you want it a little bit milk uh, creamier, you can actually add milk to the entire to the entire volume. So we're just going to add milk completely there. And, and if you want another little taste, you can actually add some wheatgrass, you can add a few other fruits, and you can add some grapes to it. In this case, we're going to add some, uh, just a little bit, a couple of uh, grapes, just to our papaya. Just give it a little bit of a tinge. So we're going to throw just a couple on top. Just about uh, six or six. Step four. It's a bit like a milkshake. Let me just pour a little bit out here. I've just ground it enough such that you have a little bit of the fiber, fiber bits inside. But you'll find it's quite fibrous. It's also very refreshing and it's a terribly juicy. So that's my papaya juice.